examples are the attack on America, the civil rights movement, the, the, the facts of my death. Uh -huh. um, didn't I cry on that one? Yeah, that was a crying video, the facts of my death. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I was just wondering. Uh, I mean, <coughs> yeah, I, I could. You know, just make them up off. some statements in terms of. Didn't uh, I do the Soviet Union, the USSR last uh, time? Yeah, and the Red Decade. decade. Uh huh. Yeah, you. The Attack on America. Not to mention the slave items that you've done, and the, you know. American slavery, slavery, Harriet Tubman, the Underground Railroad. So you want to not mention none of those? Under that I mean, person? I could. Yeah, well, that first section. Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the Black Panther Party. And we have with us to talk about the uh, Black Panther Party, Alana McLaughlin. As a matter of fact, many of you know Alana from a long, long time ago. And instead of asking her her background, education, and experiences, we've talked her into uh, making some statements during this first segment, uh, dealing with some of the uh, most notable videos perhaps that she has been involved in uh, since we started with her more than eight years ago. And so, Lana, within that framework, make a few uh, statements about who you are and then talk about uh, some of the videos, uh, some of the shows that we've done, uh, because I think it's, it, it's in a large number, but do it from that perspective. Well, Dr. Haney, to give some insight on my background in education, I am an 11th grader at the National School of Arts, where I play trumpet and piano. I am trumpet section leader at Pearl Cone Entertainment Magnet High School, where I am a part of Pearl Cone's marching band of tradition. And in addition to my love for music and family and church, I have been on the show for the past eight years with some of my most notable shows being The Attack on America, The Underground Railroad, The Red Decade, The Facts of My Death, um, Malcolm X, the Soviet Union, and many, many more. <laughs> As a matter of fact, just a multitude of shows that uh, we've done, and, and, and let me tell you how important they've been in terms of bringing people of your age and category into uh, what we do. Now, I think the uh, topic today is another of those uh, very, very important uh, uh, events in terms of the uh, United States of America and that is the Black Panther Party. And so I think uh, before we have our first commercial break, why don't you take the first couple of minutes and say something about the topic itself, the Black Panther Party, and then we'll have a break and we'll come back during that second segment and become involved uh, with the uh, Black Panther Party from then until the end of the show. Let's do it from that perspective. Well, the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, commonly known as the Black Panther Party or simply the Panther Party, was a political organization founded by Bobby, <laughs> Bobby Seale and Huey P. Newton in 1966 in West Oakland, California. Now this organization was founded initially to patrol African American neighborhoods to protect its residents from police brutality. And over the next two segments, we'll start to understand what police brutality really was, why it was such a problem in 1960s America, and what the party did to help combat this issue and the lasting impact that they've had on the United States and especially the African American community. The Panther Party was known for 
being portrayed as a gang. And even today, the new Panther Party mm -hmm. is classified as a hate group, as a terrorist group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. But again, we will get, we will dive further into this over the next two segments. But I want to kind of change the view of the Panther Party with this show. And I want to show a lot of people who are not familiar with the party that it was not the hate group and the terrorist extremist group that um, lots of people make it out to be. Mm -hmm. and so in a